Uh, on this kitchen, it uh, single wall oven, uh, which the model number is right here. Customer was getting um, F2 E1, which also tells you that it's a stack or shirt key. Uh, when I got here, the code was here, so I had to reset it. Now I'm also teaching the customer how to reset this while her part is on order. When you see the error code here, it doesn't matter what kind of error code. If it's uh, F2E1 or any kind of code and you want to reset it, so in the meantime, the customer can use this uh, unit while the part is on order. It's, the part might take four to six weeks with no exact ETA and she will be able to use this oven. So you're gonna press cancel, cancel, start. And then you go through diagnostic here, CHS test. And then from here, you're gonna press the number three. Usage, relay usage, English mode, test mode, version, display, control reset, <coughs> fault. Anytime you have those codes, you wanna come to the fault and then press the start again. So by pressing a start, it will show you the error code here, the fault code. And then once you press three after the that, um, the fault code will be here. So in order to clear the fault code, what you can do is press delay a start press it, it's gonna clear all the error codes. And then you can go back again on <clears throat> cancel, get out of diagnostic, go back again on diagnostic. Cancel, cancel, start. You got back to the diagnostic here, and now you're gonna press the number three again. Keep pressing it until you see control reset. Control reset, press the start, control reset press start again the display will go blank for a couple of seconds and then it will come back again like this touching it and then after that you're ready to go you can use your oven like a normal oven thank you